A high Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a cool reading. I hope you guys are all well. We're going to do a tarot reading today like we do. And before we begin, Sagittarius, if you would like your own reading, you can always get a psychic reading or a tarot reading. And yes, they are accurate, right? We're not messing around, Sagittarius, right? I'm a Silva grad. And once the website is up, you'll be able to see the testimonials, right? Yeah. I always recommend getting the psychic and the tarot because they offer different insights. Yes. Which makes it, I believe, more complete, right? And they are a lot of fun. Yeah. We have a lot of fun on the phone. We do. If you need a video, we can do that too, right? So let's begin. If you want a free five minute psychic reading with Mystic Sense, that link is, uh, it's below. It's even more below, right? Just click on that. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, if you want to, uh, you know, get a reading with me, click on the calendar. So let's get into this here. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, it's looking really good. Sagittarius. We have Aries. We have the outsider direction, devotion, closure, solitude, and the moon. Now, you know, Aries is the first sign in, uh, in the Zodiac, right? It, and so, and we know Aries is the fool. He's the magician. He's the emperor, but basically, uh, you know, this is, you have a new beginning and, uh, because Aries is the first sign in the Zodiac and because it is a cardinal sign, cardinal signs, Capricorn is one. I think that, uh, I think it's cancer too, but, uh, I know a Capricorn is a cardinal sign and, uh, mm -hmm, and, uh, it may be Leo, I, you know, but, it doesn't matter. It is that, uh, we know Aries is for sure. Right. And cardinal signs are the ones that set out to the trendsetters. Those are the ones who say, I'm going to do this, right? Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to have a new beginning or start my own company or just something just like that. Just like the fool, right? He says, I'm going for this. Right. And so, but we have the outsider and direction and the outsider is the misfit, the loner and the wanderer. So she's playing with, uh, this kind of energy ball basically. And, uh, she's a vampire, right? Maybe somebody's uh, thirsty for blood here. <laughs> uh, but you know, uh, this is, you know, this is somebody, when we see the wanderer, uh, it typically means that somebody has stepped outside of something else and they're kind of lonely. It can talk about that. You can talk about somebody who's between worlds, right? I wandered away from that. Now I'm going to wander over to Sagittarius's house. Maybe they're moseying on over Sagittarius. I don't think there's any really light energy here. <coughs> Excuse me guys. In terms of moseying. No, it's too, it's too serious for that. Right. Uh, it is. And, uh, the misfit, the loner, the outsider, and we have direction. Somebody's, uh, taking a new direction here, just like the fool does. And just like the outsider does too, really. And this is, uh, this is Lord, please show me the right way. Right. And you don't have to be, uh, you know, religious. You don't, uh, please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. Mm -hmm. May I hear the promptings of my own body? Yeah, for sure. Right. <coughs> and if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, please stop me. <laughs> so somebody knows which way they're coming. Uh, they really do. And you know, uh, when she was saying, you know, let me hear the promptings of my body. Like, let me pay attention to my soul. Basically, uh, here she is with this ball here. She's trying to do it right here with this energy ball, basically devotion and closure. Look at that. So that's what I mean. Somebody has closed out a cycle here and I feel like it's because they're devoted to you. Yeah. And he, you know, here's the fairy. This is cute boy fairy. And you know, he's, uh, you know, he's looking up at his, uh, fairy girlfriend here, right? He's basically on his knees. So maybe somebody's coming, you know, like we please take me back or, or can I have a union with you? It doesn't necessarily mean somebody's from your past, but they, I believe are, are going through closure, right? I'm pretty sure here. Now we have solitude too. And this is Alejandra. Piz, piz, right? And so <coughs> Alejandro is holding a, uh, a broken heart. It's bleeding and we have the moon. So the moon is about looming change. And this is, you know, this is the end of the, uh, the, t the, uh, Oracle spread here. The beginning is Aries, which is a new beginning. And the end, uh, the end or the outcome over here with this spread is looming change. It's a surrendering too. 
somebody here is like kind of broken hearted and coming your way it looks like or maybe just closing out a cycle but uh, I feel like they are kind of broken hearted maybe they're coming to kind of mend your heart Sagittarius right they could mm -hmm. uh, but you know so let's see what we have here today and uh, yeah I hope you guys are all well here Mm -hmm. Let's use this deck here. Yeah, let's see what we got for Sagittarius. Yeah, okay. And these are uh, typically shuffled. And but let's use this one for Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, you know, uh, take note, Sagittarius, that these cards could be your persons, right? Uh, there's definitely a story going on, and there's definitely two people involved when we see closure uh, and devotion, right? And you know, Aries is. Uh, kind of jumping, you know, jumping out, you know, off the cliff. Let's see what we have. We start with the Eight of Swords. So this man is cutting ties with this woman. And, uh, excuse me, you guys, but I have like a hair. I feel like that is what is going on here. Somebody's cutting ties with somebody, right? Yeah. And uh, this is looming change, and they're surrendering to this. The bottom of the deck over here is uh, the Forest Lovers. That's what they call them. Maybe you guys are, you know, flower children uh, from the 60s. We don't know, Sagittarius, right? Or, you know, you guys are both, you know, maybe you guys are both lived in the Enchanted Forest, right? Uh, you know, I mean, hey, uh, I know the redwoods uh, in Northern California can be definitely seen as an enchanted forest, right? So he's cutting her ties and he's relieving her, releasing her, but... I feel like this is, you know, it looks like somebody's releasing somebody and they feel kind of happy about that part. Uh, they're doing this so they can come forward for this change, right? For this looming change. Yeah, we have the Empress right here crossing you, Sagittarius. And let's see what else we have. I'm going to lay the cards down and I will uh, discuss them here. Yeah. The Chariot, the Moon, the Empress already... Uh, the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, which is a sign of abundance or independence. That's really what it is. Let's see, unless somebody is, you know, has a winery themselves because she has one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is a, mm-hmm. So in this reading, we see, uh, we see uh, like a, a path here. We do just like Aries, right? We see a path. Uh, we see the Seven of Swords in the reading. Somebody's stepping away from something, Sagittarius, like they're, wa they're walking away and, you know, maybe they have to kind of sneak away that I'm not really sure about that, but it definitely is. It's a bit of an escape. So when we see escape, it doesn't always mean, you know, uh, that's, you know, somebody robbed the bank and they have to escape. No, it can just mean that somebody doesn't feel good anymore. They don't feel good there anymore. So they are now escaping, right? And uh, I think I'm going to cut these bangs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure here. Uh, so let's see, or put a barrette, right? Let's see what else we have, Sagittarius. In the heart of the matter, we have uh, somebody who is cutting ties with the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's cutting ties because they're no longer trying in another situation. They're no longer inspired, right? Yeah, uh, because we know the Eight of Pentacles is major inspiration, right? But this is reversed. I'm not, I'm not trying anymore. I'm not I'm not inspired. This isn't, you know, my vibe anymore. Things like that, right? Yeah. And uh, what's helping you is the Seven of Swords. So this escape is helping you. Yeah, you look like you're waiting for somebody here, and they look like they're coming. And if you are not waiting, uh, this could just be that somebody is just getting out of a situation that's no longer good for them, and you might just run into this person. You could, right? Because, you know, uh, it's kind of like this, uh, this kind of analogy or, you know, kind of expression, you know, uh, the teacher, the teacher arrives when the student is ready, right? So that's very true. And this could be the same thing. You know, the relationship arrives possibly when you're ready, right? Maybe you're the one getting out of closure. You could be, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it could be one of those kind of closure Sagittarius where, I don't know if you guys know that song by Teddy Pendergrass, close the door, baby, right? It's because they're going to make love, right? Is that, is that what this is really about? Closure? Just teasing, right? And the moon is here again. So the moon is coming into play. Now, this is a, it could be a little different than the other moon, but 
this is a cycle that is closing out moon the moons are cycles right and uh the moon changes signs every two and a half days this is why the energy changes right the moon has everything to do with our inward feelings yeah it does mm -hmm. it also has everything to do with cancer right uh, i'm not saying this person is cancer necessarily uh, and intuition, right? For sure. Mm -hmm. And secrets, it can be here. Maybe there was a secret. There could have been in this reading, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have. The forest lovers, and we have endurance. And this is uh, at the bottom of the deck here. Wow. This is the five of pentacles endurance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's reversed here because somebody can no longer hold out here. I feel like this person waited somebody waited a long time here with endurance reversed and maybe they were waiting for like some other fire to be put out because that's what she's doing she has her little you know uh her little marshmallow that just kind of fell in the fire and uh you can tell she's thinking and i will hold up the card so you can take a look at it but you know and here is uh you know the lightning the lightning over here but you know the lightning is away from her she's taking refuge here and you can tell she's thinking this is somebody who waited for this and now they're coming. Yeah, that's what's going on here, right? And they're coming to be your forest lover, Sagittarius. So forget the mascara and uh, if you're going to be a forest lover, right? Yeah, that's the part I don't really like. I want to wear the mascara. <laughs> right, which really means mask, right? That's really what it means. So let's see here. We have the moon. This is coming into play. This could be somebody sad and depressed. And the queen of swords. So here is, uh, could be in this reading, somebody said, right? We have uh, Alejandra over here and she's holding a broken heart and, you know, uh, yeah. And um, closure too. This woman is walking. Uh, I'll show you the closure card here. She's walking like through the forest here. So this is definitely a closure for somebody. And for some of you, you want this to happen. For some of you guys know this person. I'm pretty sure here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for some it'll be new it'll be somebody showing up for you who's uh ending something who you might just run into them right yeah you might run into them at the forest sagittarius but if you're in the forest right they they might be a frog all right so just you know <laughs> pay attention right here so you can like find your prince right here's a queen of swords in the moon and she's twirling uh the she's twirling the sword at the end of it is the butterfly. So we know what she's thinking about here or anticipating or hoping for. She's like, am I going to have this, you know, with the, with the, uh, you know, the sword up in the air and with the butterfly at the tip, uh, you know, am I going to have this? And maybe that is you, your energy. Definitely. Right. I feel like you, you could, mm -hmm. that could be your, per that could be this person as well, because sometimes the uh, the energy is so strong. It could be showing up there, right? Their energy, the chariot sits in the past, right? And so this chariot has these kind of x-rated sphinxes, so we have to cover it, right? And, uh, mm-hmm. But the chariot, you know, it can talk about opposing forces sometimes. And I feel like there was here some type of opposing forces. But the chariot is this man here uh, who is getting into his chariot. He's not that happy, but he's getting in here for a victory and a triumph to overcome, right? And he's taking control of his life, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's what's going on here. And this has already been done in the past. So there is a closure here. There's no like somebody's closing out a cycle with somebody. And it's a little sad, I believe. But uh, there's no kind of in this reading, there is no uh, wondering. Something's over for somebody because of closure and the moon is looming change. And yeah, and somebody cut ties and things like that. And in the near future is or it sits in the near future is a nine of pentacles. Maybe somebody has to. Uh, cut themselves free from a marriage they could right and you know which is you know not always good but sometimes it, it has to be like that right sometimes because because of many reasons right yeah and here's the ace of wands let's look at the seven of swords Sagittarius where he's running away uh and you know he I mean in this card it looks like he's looking back and I hope they don't see me right and so maybe it's also possible in this reading that if somebody is walking away from somebody, this could be what you want too, or what you're expecting. Seven of swords. This could be you walking away from somebody, kind of an escape, 
uh, an escape, or it could be your person doing this here. And, uh, and you know, m and maybe somebody's really not trying to hurt somebody else with this closure, right? That could also be the case, right? So the seven of swords may be what you want. And, you know, let's see what else we have with the seven. Of we have the queen of pentacles. So maybe uh, your person is, you know, uh, maybe inner sign. Maybe you want somebody to walk away from somebody and come and nurture this, right? Because we have the Empress here and she's a nurturing, yeah, she is. And she's out in the forest, Sagittarius. So, all right. So you can take her, you know, advice here, right? So she said, you know, my person, my soulmate is this little duck here. It's not a frog, right? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see. We got Ace of Wands is your advice. So I'm telling you somebody's coming here uh, for a passionate new opportunity they are uh, and an inspiring one. And somebody needs inspiration in this reading. Yeah, they do. Might not be you. It could, maybe it's you closing on a cycle. Somebody's sad here. But there is so much joy like that is uh, around the corner in this reading. Yeah, you can tell it's a, it's a real, you know, it's a real story here. But, uh, you know, the, uh, the Oracle spread always tells the, the order, right? Aries, uh, the new adventure. And then we have uh, the wanderer or the loner, the direction and closure, devotion and solitude. And uh, lastly, but definitely not least, is, you know, this looming change and surrender. Somebody's surrendering to this. They're like, Sagittarius came to my house last night uh, with her fists out, right? I'm going to surrender. Just teasing. And this is how you're being affected too, Sagittarius, with this ace of wands. So... That's how this spread, uh, that's how it goes here. The king of wands shows up in your environment, uh, and that is you, right? Unless you're dealing with the fire sign, but, uh, and this is how you are affecting this person. This person thinks you're like royalty to them, right? Or perfection or, you know, or you're affecting them so much because you're affecting this person. That is, uh, that's that, you know, that's sitting there. This is how you affect them. Um, and this is the king of wands and the ace of pentacles. So you have made them really want this, not made. There's no, there's no forcing here. We don't force. No, it, do, it never works, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no, forcing does not work in any way, shape or form. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, but this is how you are influencing them. Yeah. They want a brand new begin. Somebody does here. The King of Cups is showing up here. And in this particular deck, he has these giant rubies on his head, and they really look like, uh, like you know, the eyeballs of the fly, right? You guys ever saw that movie? <laughs> and so, but here he is, and uh, he's pouring the cup out, and he's unhappy. This is in your hopes and fears. Maybe this, maybe you, if you know this person, for those of you who know this, you want this to happen. Yeah, you're you're wanting like somebody's cup to be, you know, emptied and. <clears throat> Maybe you have your reasons, right? Yeah, I mean, we're not here to definitely, we're not here to judge. That's for God. Yeah, that's not for anybody else. No, it's not. Let's see what else we have or the universe, however you like to phrase it, right? The Page of Pentacles showing up here. And uh, this is something very fertile and valuable because he stands on the flowers and, uh, right? Or, you know, this little landscape here. And uh, he's, you know, presenting. He's presenting the Pentacle to the gnome. And the gnome has his arms out, right? So this is very valuable. And this shows up, uh, this shows up in your hopes and fears here. Yeah, you're waiting for something to happen. I feel like you are waiting for something to end for some, not all, but, uh, you know, or you're emptying somebody's cup here and you're moving on to be with somebody else. That could be the case, definitely, right? Now, you know, uh, in your hopes and fears, uh, maybe you feel like you have to walk away from somebody in order to maybe be available because that is kind of showing up here, right? With the nine of pentacles, uh, and devotion and things like that. Right. And this kind of, somebody's taking control of their life here with Aries and the chariot, right? So, you know, in your hopes and fears, um, yeah, you could, you know, maybe, yeah, you could be doing this yourself. That that part's un unclear. We're going to find out in the extended. And the Hierophant is showing up in the outcome. So here he is, right? Uh, let's get a card on the Hierophant here. And the Ace of Swords. I feel like you might marry this person. Right? The Ace is a new beginning over here. And here's the Hierophant. 
Uh, this could be bit because somebody really believes in you. When somebody's devoted here, I'm going to show you guys the fairy. So very cute here, these these young fairies and, you know, uh, nice people, right? If they're, they're not really people, but, uh, you know, uh, nice folks here, or whatever. Nice fairies, right? But, you know, this is, uh, you know, after closure, devotion, somebody's closing something out or you are to be devoted to somebody else or because of the existing devotion. And so here... Uh, you know, I feel like somebody really believes in you or you believe in this person. Yeah. I mean like all the way, like I know we can be together and devoted and all this kind of stuff. So we're going to go to the extended on your person. We have two spreads on them. Yeah, we do. And, uh, mm -hmm. and we're going to have an Oracle spread on them. We are. And then we have a tarot spread as well. This is how we get to the bottom of things, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. They're all super affordable. I have the link below in the description box. And there's a, there's a big story here, I feel like there is. And if you guys want to re uh, get a reading, just click on the calendar, right? Thanks so much, you guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.